Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. We have had the lick. I tell you what, this storm come through. Not only did it tear up everything that you've seen in the past few videos, but it also ripped our chicken house right down the middle. A huge tree just destroyed, demolished the chicken house. So we're gonna try to get in here today and cut some of these trees up. I'm hoping when I cut the top out that we'll be able to lift that tree out of there. It's not very probable that that's gonna happen, but it would be the best case scenario. But it looks to me like we're gonna have to cut it out piece by piece and the chickens sort of in shock, as you can imagine. Poor little things. They were just sitting there when we come down here, just almost in stun. I think they got PTSD. Which would keep them in shock for a little while. All during the storm, I'm sure they heard trees everywhere just crashing and falling. And sometime during the night, this bad boy cut right through in on them. So I'm sure they had a pretty rough night, but. Let's get out here and get to work and get these trees cut up. This is getting scary now. We got four or five trees all converging right up there and they're all leaning really bad. I'd like to get a tractor in here and lift this log up off of this chicken house because it's too big and too heavy just to just to take chances with. So the only way to get a tractor in is to get these down. They're gonna fall anyway. The, the weight is just intensifying all the time. I don't know why they hadn't already fell really but they're in such of a mess up there. I don't know really which one to cut first. It's gonna be kind of dangerous. So all I know to do is to pick one and start cutting. So let's get with it. <laughs> this tree because it's just going to crunch it even worse so my next door neighbor has this tractor with a good front end loader on it we're going to see if we cannot gently pick this tree up and get it off we tried cutting it i was hoping it would spring back up but there's no spring in it it's down for the count I'll go with you and help you.
All right, we got the log out without tearing the thing up any worse than it already was. I want to say a huge thank you to my neighbor, Adam, for letting us use the tractor. We could not have done it without it. So now we're going to tear off everything that's damaged and try to get this thing patched up or we can get the chickens back in here. So let's see what happens. Time to go back home, big guy. Oh, yeah. What do you think about it? Got you a new roof? New wall? Woohoo! What do you say, big guy? <laughs> Come here, man. What do you say, girl? <laughs> oh, down goes Frazier! <laughs> Who don't pay to run and just stop on this ice. I bet that got your butt, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, boy. It'll be all right. Last but not least, Sister Mabel. Who knows what her name is, but she's a good egg layer. Sweet baby. All right, folks, we got her done. I cannot believe how well it went, really. We built the whole thing back, pieced it back, really, just patched it. I used some wood from the carport that the tree smashed down, and uh, didn't. I didn't spend a penny rebuilding this back. Never left the farm, so the metal roofing we had left over from jobs, we're about to run out of it. We've had so many things crash down, but anyway we've got it done chickens are back home and happy let the eggs roll i say you guys are the best subscribers in the world we really appreciate you but that's all we've got for you today we hope you have a great day we'll see you on the next video